Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and this is a quick video because I realized that uh, some people are a little mixed or a little um, kind of a misunderstanding of the um, removal of flash player and what actually makes the content on the internet visible. So one of the things that um, probably is making people uh, worry is that for a long time Flash Player was a thing, a software that you downloaded separately and then eventually you never needed to download that because it was part of the browser and this is what's happening now. To replace Flash there's nothing to do. Flash is something that was a specific technology for some animations and video playback and stuff like that. It doesn't need you don't need anything to replace it because today's websites use standard technologies and protocols that are all integrated automatically in a browser. So do not search for anything to download. Do not search for any add-on. You don't need any add-on actually to view pretty much anything on the internet now. Um, which is a good thing because for a long time when you needed, you know, Java and, uh, and, and Flash and, and all of these uh, things, one of the biggest problems was hackers would try to lure you into downloading that, um, you know, software from a shady website to actually infect machines. That is why Flash eventually became integrated in the browser because the um, danger of having a fake flash download and install was real. So it's now, uh, you know, you don't need Java, you don't need Flash. Your browser has everything it needs to give you and the internet content. There is absolutely nothing to download to view content. It's as simple as that. Your browsers are totally capable today of that. And that's cool because that means that the internet has matured into something that's more mainstream. Before, different browsers used different technologies and different technologies with different websites. And it was, uh, honestly, it was a bad idea. You know, uh, there was a point where you needed Flash and you needed Real Player and you needed uh, Java and you, it was going nuts. There were way too many things to add and the more you add anyways the more problems that you can actually have in your browsing and uh, you know in crashes on your PC so simply put there's nothing to download there's nothing to add if you have your Google Chrome browser if you have Microsoft Edge browser Firefox browser what it contains in the capabilities HTML5 uh, WebRTC and so on all of that does the job there's no need for anything else. Video playback is done automatically with these technologies today, including animations. Uh, you know, there's just no add-on to actually have, and it's the best that it could be because you don't want to have anything extra anyways. So simple answer to a question I've seen a few times is that you don't need anything to replace Flash. You don't need anything at all to view web content, the browser, is capable of viewing all the web pages that uh, you will go through without any problems. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.